What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Car Extra Racing Online on the Xbox One to do something today. We're going to be taking the wheel versus this. We're going to be going wheel versus controller, showing you guys the difference in that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's get started. Uh, okay, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so BRB pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like the gram, tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me. That's the tweet, block it out. Going live is like a gym, you know they say you made it big if your face is on the meme. So we are going to be running our 240SX. We did install the turbo version of the, you know, tuning of it. So we're going to be running the turbo version which gives us a little more power a lot lower if you guys remember the last episode i was running it and it was very very spongy so we're gonna be taking that today we're gonna be running it on the parking lot reverse section which we haven't run yet we're gonna run it on the wheel once or twice then we're gonna switch and run it on the controller so the idea is to see the difference between how the game reacts ver controller versus wheel how smooth i can be on a wheel versus how smooth i can be on a controller so we're going to start off with the wheel first and we're going to see how this works oh a little bit more power And we're kind of trying to be as smooth as possible. I think I might be on the wrong setting on my uh, Fanatec. Because it is, seems very twitchy. I think we are actually on the wrong setting. So we're gonna finish this lap off and then we're gonna switch to the other setting on the Fanatec that I believe is setting five, which has a little bit more resistance in my wheel. But if you guys remember this 180 did not drift very well out of the rip, but with the turbo mod on it, Seems to be uh, getting pretty good. I think I'm getting a little bit more used to the car towards the end of this section. Nowhere near uh, gold. So we're gonna switch my wheel settings. We're gonna switch my wheel parameter. I think it was Maybe not. I don't think it was set. So we're going to try that one more time on this wheel setting because I think this actually is the wheel setting you need to be on. So we're going to go back, retry this on this wheel setting. Then we're going to hop into the controller and try it on a controller. So not the worst run possible. Could have done a lot worse. So we can see if we can't better that now with a little bit different of a feedback style. And remember, fourth gear. Yeah, this is the actual setting I needed to be on on my wheel, as you can see. A lot smoother. There we go. So we are able to hold a pretty smooth line. Oh, on a, on a wheel. Backwards entry. We got points for that. A little bit of a wall tap. Oh, I was looking at my score, not where I was going. I should never look at my scores. Never get distracted. A left foot brake action going on. Uh, 360 for style. I don't consider that a, a win on that one because we don't get 360 for style points. But I am liking the 240 with the turbo mod. Probably should tune it and get a little more Ackerman in here, but we're running this off the rip. And it is very 
twitchy a little bit on the wheel. And that's just a testament to the tuning aspect of the car. If you guys remember last time we tuned the car better and it got better and transitioning and stuff. So now we're gonna switch up to the controller, which we have to tweak some settings for. We're gonna switch up the controller. I gotta make sure what the controls are for the controller first. And then we're gonna try it on this controller and actually see if we can do better or worse with the controller. Gonna hop over in the settings and controls because what are my controls left right gas brake clutch handbrake okay oh shoot hmm um uh, did i just yeah reset those okay so <laughs> gas brake clutch handbrake I need to know uh, next gear, previous gear. Okay, so we got the basic controls. All right, so now we're gonna run it on the controller. We're gonna tweak some settings here from what people have been telling me to run when I run the controller. So we're gonna run a bit of a uh, modified setting here. We're gonna go to controller, we're gonna go to advanced, we're gonna do controller assist on. We don't want steering wheel assist because, well, that's just very weird when you're using a wheel. So we got the controller assist on, so what we should be able to do is just kind of turn into the turn. So we're going to go... Yep, that's pretty much how we are going to go. Oh, so controller versus wheel. If you don't have a wheel, this game is incredibly fun. It's very, it's not uh, crazy, some you know, complicated to uh, just pick up and have some old and have some fun with your friends. Now, make sure you don't like just stab the brakes and totally fail in drifting. And I'm wondering if I'm actually better on a wheel than I am a controller. Controller drifting is not my thing, but we seem to be. Uh, Throwing it down a little bit here. Do a little fast transitions. Oh, nope. Yeah, I, apparently controller drifting is uh, not a thing I'm very good at. If you guys have followed me on other games with controller drifting, you know controller controllers and I don't usually get along when it comes to racing games or drifting games. It is incredibly fun here on Xbox One on Car Extra Racing Online. And I can see why a lot of people are having a blast with this game. So we gave the wheel two tries. So we're going to give the controller two tries. So we're going to give it one more shot. We're gaining a lot of money here. We're, we're ticking up those funds because, you know, we need a bunch of funds to buy some... Uh, more performance parts for this uh, 240. So what we are going to do is probably before the end, like we ended last episode, we're going to upgrade the 240 even higher because last time we just drove a stock. Now we upgrade it. We're going to upgrade it higher and see how it handles in a higher tune. Throw it in fourth. There we go. Nice kind of smooth arcing line. A little bit of handbrakes. Some clutch kicks there. able to manji and draw a little bit better of a line right now on the controller but I am stalling it out there trying to stay in drift here getting lost in the smoke a little bit better than throttle kind of just staying pinned on gas there we go quick flick so impressions on me with the controller it's definitely uh Something if I want to just do some chill driving with and have some fun with some friends, maybe that don't have wheels and stuff like that, it's definitely incredibly fun to drive on a controller because other games on controllers for drifting are not as easy, such as like Horizon and Forza and stuff like that. So this game is pretty much a solid throwdown with 
a controller, just uh, pick up and play, have some good fun, and we may actually get gold on this? I wouldn't say get gold, but we got silver. We probably could have gotten gold, but we had to tax silver, so we're going to two the car up with a little more power, come back and see what we can do on the wheel again. Wow, so we managed to pull some money on that we got 61k now so we can buy some more tracks have some more fun hop online if you guys want to see some online stuff let me know down in the comment section down below quick way to make some money so we're going to go to the garage we are going to go back with the mods and we're going to throw down 641 horsepower of a drift tune on the 180 i'm going to go check out the Ackerman real quick max degree of angle i think we're just gonna leave it how it sits and we're just gonna we're just gonna send it we're gonna send this car and hopefully be able to handle it in that amount of power on the same track because why not it's a good basis you saw wheel versus controller which do i prefer i prefer obviously a wheel but if you want to have just a chill drift time this is a game you can just pick up a controller and chill and have a good time with and not really like get frustrated about it so let's see how this reacts oh my way more power gotta be a little bit lighter on my throttle foot We may need some bigger tires in the back because it doesn't feel like I'm getting much grip. But it's got angle to hold it. And for a rip, first off, no tune. Basic drift tune. Um, this thing gets it. So I think we're going to do some visual aesthetics to it. Change up the wheels, change up the actual tune and actually get some, there we go, some actual grip in the back of this car here on the next episode. Oh, we sent that too hard. We got reverses up here now. This thing just smokes it in fourth gear. We were on a, we were on a good tear. We could have gotten gold. We might still be able to get gold. Oh yeah. Well, we managed to tag gold here for the final part. A little 364 style at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on Car X Drift Racing Online. Make sure you guys follow me on all the description box below. Throwing down. Get some good money involved. We uh, upped our stuff back from 79. We got money to tune the car, buy more tracks. More stuff coming here on the Xbox One version of Car X Drift Racing Online. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Uh, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so BRB pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like the gram, tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me. Check the tweet, block it out. Going live is like a genie. You know they say you made it big if your face is on a meme.